and then I can decide if I want them to poke out a little bit more or in just to kind of change the kind of shadows you get and then this handle is just too rounded I want it a little flatter so I'm gonna grab all my polys control a move my axis point just so it's sitting right at the back so I'm going to scale it in just to get a little bit of flatter shape this negative space is just the shape I'm looking for because I know I want a handle or a lid like this with a handle and then I'm aware that this handle is going to get quite thick as well on either side this is very loose I'm just drawing with a mouse a little bit of an odd kink there as well let's see if we grow the selection and see if we can just soften that up a bit a little better yeah to kind of echo the design we just duplicate across the geometry and tweaked it a little bit I'm going to grab these two shapes here and bevel them we're not going to get a perfect circle because we don't have a perfect square lined up and I'm going to bevel them just about to there I'm going to grab these points then and just drag them down just to get a bit more of an oval shape going it's kind of getting a bit too small and it's kind of getting a bit too faint looking so control drag down once delete and I'm going to use the stitch and sew command or I can be right click and find stitch and sew or tapping M and then P and I'm dragging from one point down to another and it just welds them 